I wanna show you three tips for doing AdWord campaigns. I've recently had some success. I've been doing AdWord campaigns for years. I mean, they've been out for a long time and they've changed drastically. Even recently, I've had to kind of get up to speed again in what AdWords is all about, but really the basics are still there and there's three important things. There's probably many more, but there's three important things I think about when I'm doing an AdWords campaign that helps me improve my click rates, which is critical. Um, you wanna improve your click rates or you start wasting money. The higher your click rates are, the cheaper the clicks become in Google's algorithm. I'm also trying to film and do some funny stuff on this camera. Does it look uh, weird? Maybe? I don't know. All right. Camera over there, camera over here. I'm doing something kind of fancy where I have like multiple camera angles going on at the same time. Don't mind her. Don't mind her. You can see her in this. <laughs> okay, three things. Three things that um, I would keep in mind when doing an AdWords campaign. This is a new campaign in my account. I'll start with Search Network. Display Network is the you know the the ads that are running on other people's sites. Things like the the banner ads that you see. I wouldn't fool with those right now. If if AdWords is new to you, just focus on search and optimizing search. When you start getting into like cold banner ads, I think you're gonna waste a lot of money. I wouldn't I wouldn't fool with display ads unless you're doing retargeting, and I really even wouldn't even worry about it right now. So. I'm gonna go on search, use goals. I'm gonna click uh, buy on my website. I'm just gonna call it testing. If you are in the United States, I would focus just on optimizing the United States for now. Get good at this and get good at English and, and get good at, at, at just focusing on kind of local customers before extending your reach to maybe localizing your ads and, and thinking about other countries. Maximize conversions is my bid strategy. Enter a daily budget. This is on you to figure out. I'm just putting in a dollar because I don't want to spend money on this test ad because I'm going to just make some crazy stuff. And that's it. You can schedule stuff, etc. I'm not going to fool with a lot of this stuff. Call out extensions are interesting. Again, this isn't like a basics teaching of AdWords. I can get into that later. So I'm just gonna leave that stuff for now. The first thing you get in here when you're starting your first campaign is it asks for an ad group name, which is a little confusing when you're starting in a campaign and you're new to AdWords. What on earth is a group name? I'm gonna put in the word everything right here. And I'm gonna do that because here's what I do. I create an ad group to start with that contains like a bunch of keywords that I'm kind of fooling with. And then you're gonna see me, I'm gonna create a bunch of other ad groups after this. So I'm gonna start with everything. You can call it whatever you want. Call it start or something. You can start in typing in, in keywords. There's a bunch of keyword ideas from Google. A lot of these are interesting. CRM, cloud-based CRM, etc. I'm gonna add all the ideas. This isn't, a really good plan. A lot of these things, CRM jobs and cloud-based CRM, those don't mean the same thing at all. And so you gotta be really careful with adding automated things from Google. Open source CRM software, that's a, an idea, that's a suggestion, that's probably not very good. We don't even offer open source CRM. If I were to advertise with that, there's a bunch of people who are gonna click on my website, not buy anything. You could use all these keyword ideas and you're gonna end up having to whittle them out. You really have to go through each one and, and think like, does that even make sense for my business? Let's work on creating an ad. Final URL is hireshq.com. The first headline, typically the strategy I use is to target a keyword that I'm matching for. So say we're matching for just the word CRM. I'm gonna put in CRM in this headline one. Headline two, I might put in something, you know, a little bit more about the benefits of high rise, like CRM, zero learning curve. And again, this is stuff that, that's, that you have to figure out and test and what works for your customers. And then there's a description. Again, this is just more stuff. You could say like, try, free, frustration free. You can put in some tracking parameters. I'm gonna just be done with it at this point. Maybe I'll do a more advanced topic talking about making good, better ads and, and using those tracking parameters. But for now, that's it. So I have, an, so what, what did we do here? Create a campaign, create an ad group, what the heck is an ad group, and we've created an ad and we've added keywords. A lot of people leave at this point. You know, you're like done. You probably are excited to be done. Like, whoa, you just put in your credit card, you know, you've got, you, you, hopefully you're gonna get, start getting some traffic to your site. It seems like you're at a good place to stop, right? This is exciting. This is a really terrible place to stop. This isn't very good. You're not, you're not in a good situation yet right here. As we said, 
what have you done? You've created one ad, a bunch of keywords, some of them might not even, if you got them from Google, they might not even be pertinent. So here is the first thing that you wanna figure out here, and that's ad groups. Ad groups allow you to kind of divide up your ads based on these groups. Well, the groups should be based on different keywords or keyword themes. For example, simple CRM is not the same thing as small business CRM. Someone who's looking for a simple CRM might be working at a big business. And someone who's looking for small business CRM might not really care about simple things. So those are just two examples of keywords that are important in my world in which having the same ad and having the same landing page isn't the right idea. So you create different ad groups to kind of batch these into different categories so that you can target just simple CRM. You can target just small business CRM. And so if you go into my, I'm not gonna show you my campaign, but you're gonna see like a dozen different ad groups of keyword themes I'm targeting. So what I would do, if, if let's pretend, um, let's pretend I'm working on writing software. I'm focusing on two things. People who are looking for writing software and people who are looking at getting better at writing. Keywords are things like better at writing, improve, writing. Even this, improve writing and better at writing, those might be interesting separate ad groups. But for now, I'm going to kind of keep them into that. But it's like, I tend to try to create one ad group per keyword, keyword phrase. And that way I can kind of optimize and really target and, and niche the, the landing page and niche the, the ad itself to that single keyword phrase. That's trick number one. Different ad groups for different keywords. Second piece of advice, create different landing pages. Like I said, someone looking for simple CRM doesn't probably want to land on a landing page that's all about small business CRM. You need to create a unique landing page that at least, at the very least, changes the headline of what that landing page is all about. So we've got ads, every ad group of mine goes to a different landing page that talks to the person who just landed on this about the search that they just searched on. Someone searching for improved writing, they better land on a landing page that talks about improved writing. Really big, because that's what was in their head when they were looking. Do the work to, if you've got a keyword you want to go for, make a new landing page. And it doesn't have to be brand new. I've copied a template of a, of a landing page that you see on our homepage to some of these other landing pages and I've just changed the headline. Just change the headline. Um, even better, change some of the copy to make it even more on point. But if you're pressed for time, or you don't have any really great ideas for changing the copy, at least change the headline. I think you're gonna see a better conversion rate from those people who are clicking from that app. The third thing that I will talk about is split testing. We created a single ad, right? Say CRM, zero learning curve, split test. Split test every single ad group of yours with at least one other advertisement. What I've read is it's like 2% is, is the standard um, gold standard people are trying to get for ads on Google. I'm beating a 2% by a bunch uh, for some of the advertisements I've created. And I do that just because, well, they start below 2%. And I don't stop. I just keep creating another ad. See what this looks like. So you can go in here and click on one of your advertisements. There's a little down here, down arrow. You can say copy and edit. And I'll go in here, and sometimes I'll radically change it. That's a good thing. But sometimes I'll just change things like, you know what? What if, what if I didn't use any capital letters here? Or maybe it should. Maybe put in an exclamation point here. You get the point. Keep testing your ads. And don't think that because one advertisement tested well in one ad group, you're going to replicate that success in another ad group without testing. Sometimes it works. I had a, a really great ad. I was then able to take that template of an ad, move it to a different ad group, and I started testing in that ad group, and it didn't work out the same. You never know, right? I mean, one advertisement that's talking to someone who's looking for small business CRM, isn't, isn't, might not register for simple CRM. Someone who's do, looking for small business CRM might not care about try free, frustration free, right? They're, they're looking for very different things. The gist is don't get 
lazy with creating a Google AdWords campaign and to think you're gonna optimize it really great later when you start having su some success. Because I think like getting any success out of AdWords requires some of this optimization really upfront where you're gonna waste a lot of money, you're gonna get disheartened, it's gonna look like it's terrible and, it, and you're gonna be like, Google AdWords doesn't work. When, well, were you advertising to people who were looking for free things? Were you giving them bad ads that were costing you a lot because the click-through rates were terrible? Very, very yes, probably. If you're new to, to Google AdWords, all of those things are, are very possible. You're gonna waste a lot of money. So you gotta get kind of good right away at, at some of these things. So just to review, the three things that I keep in mind uh, when creating an AdWords campaign is use ad groups, a different ad group per keyword phrase that you're trying to use. Create different landing pages, one new landing page per ad group. So one new landing page per keyword phrase you're trying to get people to search for and buy from you for. Third, split test constantly. Every, you should, every time, you should always have two ads running, all the time, all right? The, the champion and the challenger, and continue to keep pushing that, and you're gonna get past the 2% uh, golden standard that people seem to think is is some kind of standard. I'll do more advanced stuff with AdWords, AdWords if you want, talk about retargeting, talk about Facebook ads, if you want. Leave a comment, is this stuff helpful? Do you want more stuff that I'm doing with marketing and, and advertising? Let me know and I will do more tutorials and more talks about it. I hope you are having an awesome day. Please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.